Hey there guys, Bullington here, and today we're about to do another episode of Let's Play. Uh, this is the first video that I've had, that I've done in a while. Um, had a lot going on. Uh, quit my job, went on a vacation, and actually expected to be able to play some and record some stuff while I was down there, but the internet was so shit I couldn't really... Into the lava, bitch. Um, the internet was so shit I couldn't really do anything down there, and... I don't know. Not having the internet is just, it kind of sucks. Um, so I didn't really get much down there, done down there. Uh, you will notice all that this, these walkways all through here are new. Um, I did this in the past day or so. And I've, I'm going to show you, here, we'll go, we'll go up here and we'll look at these places real quick. Because I've got it, there's a few perspective caves up in here that I would like to explore at some point. Um, not, actually this might be one. I think that way I need to explore. But we're going to go up this way. And, ooh, there's a bunch of zombies in here. But this cave is completely unexplored. Uh, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a good cave because there is already some gold like right here. Holy shit. Go away. Go away, go away. Gotcha. Okay. Um, but I think this is going to be a good cave anyways. There's two endermen down in here. But uh, you'll see that I have 27 experience levels. I did spend some time working on getting some enchantments or getting some XP built up so I can enchant my end equipment. Because uh, I, I do plan on still going there and doing that. So I've already gotten a head start on it. Oh, I jumped down behind the wall, didn't I? Um, that's okay. I think I can still connect to my, my other tunnel from down here. Go away. However, I have... Oh, um, in the past couple days that I've been home, uh, I have been playing quite a bit of Battlefield. Um, I've been putting down some really good numbers, so I think I'm going to be showing some footage on here. Just have like a commentary, pick a topic, and show some cool gameplay and then talk. Uh, throughout the video, so I think I am going to be doing that in the next couple days. I might. It just depends on when, how lazy I am, and how, or when I hook, hook my uh, PVR back up to my TV and start playing. Uh, but I did do, and I walked all the way from there without showing you the best stuff. Anyways, well, that's the wrong one. I got to go over here. I'll just have to go retrieve that cart in a little bit. Oh, and the cart's not here either. Uh, I will cut ahead to when I get back to the place I want to show you. Be back. Alright, guys. And we're coming back up on my mob spawner area and my new base. Um, which I'm actually starting to like. It's coming along and it's going to be very different. Yes, yeah, you'll see. I went a little bit crazy with the wood, so I'm thinking I might have to redo something with the ceiling. Because I don't... It, it looks really good, but I just think it needs something else to set it off. Um, I've baseboarded pretty much the whole place, and I cleared all this out, made this, instead of having one pathway come down here and then have one come this way with a wall down the middle, I just connected them together so I could have more space down here, and I don't, I hate the claustrophobic feeling of having two, just two blocks to walk through, I like having three or more, so this just opens it up so I don't have to like walk in this hallway and feel claustrophobic, I can come down here and go, Wee! I'm all the way over here and I'm not claustrophobic. So that's that's what I did that for. Alright, uh, mob spawner is the same. Um, I've still got it wired up with lights like that. Oh, one change I did make so that if I don't want a million zombies here, if there's too many here, my, link, my game starts to lag, which has happened in the past and it's really, really... It becomes unplayable, where if I hold the forward key, it does this. I'd be holding it for maybe 10 seconds, and then I'd go... And then I'd hold it for another 10 seconds. Yeah, see, it's unplayable. So I had to work... One day I had to work my way from all the way over here, all the way to my mob spawner, and try and kill them off. Um, but now, in the case of that happening, all I have to do is work my way over here and go like that. Uh, sticky piston pushes the moss stone out into the heads of all the zombies, and they suffocate. Um, so that's, and I'll demonstrate for you. Yep, see it kills them off pretty quickly and efficiently. Um, this is my little arboretum room, and I'm pretty proud of this. I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, I've got some wheat up in here growing. 
and I don't plan on harvesting it. It's just it's more just for looks, and I'm thinking I might put another piece of dirt here and put some flowers or something. But I do think that this looks really nice, and it adds kind of a green that the mines, the caves actually needed. And of course, I've got a birch tree up in here with uh, a cool wood and stone design in the roof with beams that come down that support the room. All of the stuff, all of the pathways that you saw that are back here, I've just I've leveled them off so I can get the design right, and then I've just put ladders so I can go up in here. And uh, this piece of dirt that's here, and there's one on this side too, are there so that mobs don't come down in here while I'm working on it. It's just more of a safety precaution than anything else. Uh, so yeah, went down in here, I started the floor, this, I'm gonna continue working on this place because it's not quite done yet. And then of course I've got this really weird clusterfuck intersection here with the floating rail. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's in the near future, I will be working on that. I, I'm thinking about adding more of these type of rooms, just rooms with a tree in it. Because I think they look really nice, and it just... It just takes it away from being a, a smooth stone cave work area into more of a homely feel, like uh, this is someone's basement, or it's their wine cellar or something, or it's part of their mansion. So I do really do like this room. I really do like the style of this room. I like those guys right there hanging from the ceiling. Um, I do have one in the center up in there that... Well, I had I put all of them in here, and then I surrounded this whole thing. This filled this whole room with torches, so I could get the tree to grow. And these guys will stay grown as long as I have this light up here, and I've got water behind them. So pretty much you can hear it. You see that little blue line right there where my crosshairs are. There is a water line that goes around the back of both sides of them, so that they stay alive. And I do like the design of these little beams. They're just it's a really simple contrasting effect so that when you walk up on it it looks like it's all wood and then you pass over it and you get the dark of the smooth stone it's uh it's a really cool little aesthetic effect and i'm i'm planning on using it in a couple more places so that's pretty much everything that i've done so far um i'm going to probably i am thinking about knocking this wall out because it really serves no purpose and i'll show you because that's it right here serves zero purpose whatsoever and then i'm thinking i'm going to lower i'm going to remove all of my utilities up here make all this room one floor and do basically the same thing as my arboretum in there and maybe put a tree in here um i've had enough of this spawner so i'm just going to break it i i really i feel like it's an eyesore in this room so i'm not really going to worry about it and i mean i've got my zombie spawner so it's not like i'm going to run out of xp anytime soon so anyways here we go this is all here and that's much better i wonder if i have any yeah i do have some smooth stone uh yeah. there we go and i'm planning on expanding let me through there we go i have to smite zombies all right and I'm gonna expand this way and do the same basic kind of style uh, throughout because I really do I really do enjoy this style it's it's simplistic and it it basically the way I build it when I build something like this or when I decorate like this is it's just I create for myself a set of design principles which basically means well I say going around the whole area I want a baseboard what kind of baseboard do I want I want wood so then I just follow it and I work each corner individually and I don't so I, I just play with it until I make it work so we've got a baseboard that comes around here and then goes down and then on this side it comes up and I actually missed a brick down there it comes up and it just it flows and sometimes it doesn't work like I think up in here actually I might want to have it as smooth stone so I'm gonna try that really quick Actually, I think what might look cool. This might look cool. Um, I kind of like it. I kind of like it, but I'll um, I'm not gonna mess with it anymore right now. All right, so here we go. Um, I'm just trying to brainstorm some ideas for what I want to do with this room. 
I am eventually going to replace all this with probably smooth stone. But the thing is, when you're messing with the stack going up, it's just a pain in the ass because every block you take out, water rushes out and it gets everywhere and it's it's not very fun to deal with and then i would have to climb i have to go down in there climb up it or completely destroy this wall here and replace the signs to do it so it's just i mean it's not really worth the effort doing it i'm not in a rush to do it but i will do it at some point um my next project is probably going to be this room in here i'm going to make this room much nicer like the other one with more flow and not just haphazard stairs everywhere because i think i know the cobblestone looks like shit and there's definitely something else i could put here i could either use wood or i could use stone bricks uh so we'll just i'm just gonna have to wait and see what i feel i'm thinking that i might sit down this evening and sort this room out but i don't know so yeah that's pretty much all of the updates i've got for you guys um i'm Getting back into videos, um, I'm not playing Minecraft quite as much. Like I said, I'll be playing quite a bit more Battlefield because I've just... I played it for a really long time and did a lot of videos and did stuff on it. And uh, I got... I pretty much stopped playing when the shotgun, the USAS bug popped up. And I didn't play for a couple months, and then now they repatched it, and they got the close quarters coming out, and all that kind of stuff. I'm, I'm slowly regaining my love for playing the game, and it's good because, like I said before, I'm putting up some really, really good numbers. Like I had a uh, game that I played last night that I was like 89 and 89 and 20, 89 and 29, or 89 and 39. It was one of the two, but I was tearing people up left and right uh, I was popping into rooms getting triple kills in, with an mp7 um, I just I think that that could be that gameplay could be really entertaining so I am going to be putting some new, some new battlefield stuff up on the channel um, which I hope you guys like and if you have anything that you particularly want to see would you want to see me sniping do you want to see me um, running around as an engineer blowing shit up do you want to do um, do you want me to see in a, see me in a chopper? Do you want to see me in a tank? Let me know, cause I'm pretty everything that I've said I'm pretty proficient in. Uh, I'm getting to be a better medic, which is fun because the assault class is pretty sweet. Now that I've figured it out, um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. Uh, I'm back in town, so any comments will be answered. And I've got good internet now that I'm home, and I'm loving it. I'm loving it so much. So that pretty much wraps up this video. <laughs> I got interrupted there. Um, and I will see you guys in the next one. Oops. Oh, wait. I had something else I was going to say. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be Battlefield. And it will, might be up this evening. Uh, I'm going to be looking for topics for my Battlefield videos because they're mostly just going to be like a commentary about a t hopefully they're gonna be about a topic so it'll be like i'll pick a topic and it'll be like um cars what cars are cool stuff like that uh what um best places to eat burgers i mean i don't know i've got whatever whatever topic guys we feel fancies or you guys suggest i'll be happy to talk about and just have cool gameplay to go with it so until next time this is bowlington signing off